A quick disclaimer before the actual video starts. All the sexualities mentioned here, which are in total seven, aren't all of the sexualities. See, these aren't all the sexualities in total. There are many more. You may identify as however and whenever you wish to identify. There is no one stopping you from identifying sexually to whatever you want to identify. What you like is what you like. You don't let anyone else like what you like. As in, you don't let people dictate what you like. That's what I meant. Anyway guys, hope you enjoy the video. Hello Internet, my name is Jake, and today I am working with Psych2Go to bring you guys the seven types of sexualities. And no, I don't mean as in what you identify as, like you're saying you're a butterfly, but in reality you're a moth. No, I mean what you identify as in sexual attraction. So let's get to it. Are you a man and you like women, or are you a girl and you like a hunky man? Well, congratulations to you. You are completely and utterly heterosexual. Heterosexual identifies as the gender, like in the opposite gender. I.e. guy likes girl, girl likes guy, the simple stuff. You're a boy, and then you like another boy. Well, congratulations, you're homosexual. Homosexual identifies as the same gender, liking the same gender. Quite literally. If you're a girl, you either like a girl, or if you're a guy, you like a guy. It doesn't really depend. If you're a boy, you like a boy, or you're a girl, like a girl. Or are you very mixed in concept? If that's a word. Do you have eyes for both guys and girls? Well, huzzah, congratulations. You are bisexual. Bisexual people identify as people that like both genders. I.e. guy likes another guy and a girl, or i.e. girl likes another girl and another guy. It's very fun with that kind of situation, because you can simply say there are no differentials, there's only targets. Jumping down from that to something that involves no sexual attraction, if you're a person that doesn't like no gender, or simply doesn't like people, I'm not talking about people that are depressed or whatnot, I'm talking about people that just don't like sexually anyone then, in my opinion, sorry, but in the general opinion, congratulations, you are asexual. Asexuals are people that identify as people that do not like any gender whatsoever and do not have any sexual attraction to anyone. Jumping to the next one, we have polysexual. <laughs> I know this one is very interesting because it actually kind of pertains to me. Polysexuals are the kind of people that like any gender regardless, but don't like to be identified as bisexuals. Simply put, you like everyone, but not as much as the next number, which is pansexual. Pansexual people are people that like people regardless of gender or sexuality. <laughs> and interestingly enough, there are plenty of those people around us today. An example of these kind of people is a friend that will kiss anyone regardless. And finally, we have the transsexual. Do you feel like you're something you're not supposed to be? Do you just feel it on the inside? Well, you know, you could get that checked. I mean, it could either be something on your insides, but who knows? It's either that, or you're transsexual. Transsexual people are people that identify as a certain biological gender, Well, in reality they're not. You could be a guy identifying as a girl, and you can dress up as a girl, and you can like boys and all that stuff. But then there could be girls that identify as boys, i.e. tomboys, and you can say they're like girls. But it doesn't really generally apply to anyone. Now, I say these seven gen general sexualities that doesn't mean you're one of the specific ones. You could be heterosexual and you can like just one guy. You can be one heterosexual guy likes all the ladies, but you can identify by liking one guy. Doesn't necessarily make you bisexual or pansexual, just simply that you like that one guy. 
Or you could be a pansexual person and not like one person. Doesn't mean you're not pansexual. Just simply means you don't like everyone. Really. Well, anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. We definitely sure to give this video a like, comment on what should be talked about next, and subscribe for more Psych2Go videos. And if you'd like to check me out, you can definitely click in the link in the description below to check out my YouTube channel. And a video before that one, well, right underneath the link, so you can see an interesting video on concept I took on Rubik's Cubes. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.